What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another account progression video. Alright, so it is time to get another tier 2 character and we are going to be getting Link into tier 2. So, I decided to get Link into tier 2 just because I've been using him a lot more lately. Um, well, I've been using him a lot more lately for his leadership since I have uh, Thor at tier 3 and I just really like using Thor. Um, but, Having him at tier 1, I have to keep scrolling down my list just to find Lincoln, so I figure, hey, if I tier 2 him, he'll be up a little higher on the list, so I won't have to scroll as much. Uh, yeah, so th <laughs> that's the main reason I'm tier 2-ing him, but uh, Lincoln is actually a fun character on his own, because I do still use him a lot in uh, Shadowland. I use him on the Rumble stages, because he's really good at crowd-controlling multiple enemies, so he's just really good for that. Uh, so having him at tier 2 will just make it a lot easier in Shadowland for me to clear that stage quicker. And then also I can save him to uh, for later rounds as well. So farther up in the ladder, I can use him on one of the rumbles and one of the later floors if I feel like it. Um, but he still works just fine at tier 1 on some of the early rumbles. Uh, of course, you always have the extra two characters in there to... Uh, kind of deal some damage with him so it's not all him but a lot of it is him crowd controlling them so that you can uh, get all the dps going but anyway that's enough about that let's go ahead and take a look at the character here before we tier two him so pretty much out of all of his skills you're only going to really need to level up the third skill so you can get that guard against hits up to three hits for um refreshing every two seconds and i believe it just starts at one hit or maybe it's even just two hits but i I think you have to get it all the way to 6 though for the 3 hits because I'm pretty sure you would have to level it up for that. Uh, but anyway, all the other skills, they do not have any kind of effects that you need to level them up for. Uh, so yeah. So his ISO 8 set, we have uh, Hawk's Eye on it. Again, this was just a set that I kept because it was the first one that I rolled, the first damage set. But he's got uh, skill cooldown on one of his gears, so you don't necessarily need to have Hawk's Eye. You can go with Power of the Angry Hulk or Overdrive or one of those two instead if you want to go offensive with him, which uh, he is a really good offensive character, so I do like having that. Um, as you can see here from my Ovelisk, I do have an offensive Ovelisk as well, so we have Immune to Guard Break because I just really like having that. He doesn't have any iframes at all, so having the Immune to Guard Break is really nice um, to make sure he gets his skills out. And then we have the lightning damage, of course, to synergize with all of his skills being lightning damage. And I do actually have a really good one in terms of uh, lightning damage. I just noticed that 39.9%, and I believe 40% is the max that you can get. So that's almost perfect on the lightning damage. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we have a damage proc. It's only a 120 damage proc, but like I said, I mainly just use him in Shadowland, so I don't need any kind of insane damage proc on him, so I don't need to save up for a 180 or 200% to put on him, because he's going to get the job done for what I need him to get done uh, with this current Ovilisk here. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what he's looking like right now. So let's go ahead and get him advanced to tier two. And we're going to be getting him uh, to tier two the natural way. So I'm not going to be wasting a tier two ticket on him. So here we go. Boom, there we are. All right, Lincoln Campbell, uh, spark plug. <laughs> All right, so his tier two is called spark plug. That's kind of funny. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what it gives him. So he gets uh, lightning resistance uh, plus 50%. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be that useful. Um, and then decrease energy damage received by 25%. That will be more useful. So that's a lot better, of course, than that lightning resist. And then we have increased skill damage by 22% and bonus damage by 18%. So a little bit extra damage right there, which is really nice. So overall, it's a pretty good tier 2. He gets a little bit of uh, survivability with the decreased damage received. And then also a bit more damage with the kind of skill and bonus damage increase. So overall, not too bad. So let's go ahead and oh, spark plug challenge complete. Congratulations, you now have a spark plug. All right, awesome. Um, anyway, so now let's go ahead and test out Lincoln a little bit and get into some gameplay. All right, so here we are at uh, Shadowland. We have a rumble right here for blast type, so it's perfect place to use Lincoln at. Uh, it's only floor 7, but uh, we're going to go ahead and bring him in by himself. We have his own leadership for the 60% increase to lightning damage. So let's go ahead and load this up. Because normally I do this stage with uh, two other characters, and I think they get it done in a reasonable amount of time. So uh, we're going to go just by himself here and see how quickly he can do this on his own. And to see if he can uh, survive well without having those other 
uh, two characters in there to kind of help distract the enemies and get some more hits and to kind of guard break everyone. Oh, we got stunned. Yeah, a lot of this is Venom not getting crowd controlled here. Venom, can you get crowd controlled, please? Well, that was a little sloppier than it should have been, but uh, his damage is definitely there. It's just, I'm very surprised that we got hit that many times, actually, since I was able to uh, get off my fourth skill relatively early. It was just Venom was, like, slightly outside of the uh, range of the fourth skill, or the range of all my attacks. So he's just hitting me on that peripheral right there, if you could see that, just launching attacks and cutting through my guard with his multiple hits. Uh, but besides that, as you can see, Lincoln is very good at controlling uh, more than one enemy, so a very good crowd control character. And of course, if you had uh, the two other characters in here with him, they would be uh, distracting the enemies even more. And then also, because he's crowd controlling them, you get all the hits in from the other two enemies, and everyone is going to be stun locked or at least guard broken for majority of the time, so you're going to be taking less damage overall because of that. Uh, but even on his own, as you can see, he was able to get the job done. But I uh, pretty much just be careful of Venom during this, and then also Doc Ock will sometimes throw in that quick stun that can catch you off guard, but those are the only two things to really worry about. So overall, Lincoln is a very fun character. He's more of just a Shadowland character. He doesn't have much use um, in any other game modes. He can be used in Alliance Conquest because that crowd control in the fourth skill, if the enemy uh, team doesn't have immune to guard break, can be very valuable. But uh, that's pretty much the only other place I can think of for Lincoln here. And of course, his leadership is really nice. 60% lightning type or lightning damage. Um, but you don't really need to tier 2 him for that. So overall, like I said, I'm happy to have Lincoln at tier 2. I'm mainly going to be using him for the leadership and also in Shadowland, just like I showed you there. But I might try him out on later floors later on. But that's going to be it for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I will catch you in the next one.